Hey guys, so today I wanna show how you can efficiently put your rovers on your ship But first, I kinda wanna say that rovers are kind of inefficient Because once you have a ship, you usually don't need a rover, you can just make smaller ships But maybe you're like someone who likes rovers or something And you just really want to get rovers on your ship Alright, so you probably already know, but having subgrids on your ship is not always the best idea. So yeah, if you want more stable ways to put rovers on your ships, these are the most efficient ways of putting rovers on your ship that won't cost you too much PCO and won't clang as much. So the first way of putting rovers on your ship that is actually cheaper than you think is by just putting thrusters on your rover and this will cost you about 15 PCU per thruster and about 15 PCU for the gyroscope but your rover will probably already have a gyroscope anyway so it's not like it would matter that much and the good thing about this approach is that you can land the rover on any ship instead of needing individual ships instead of needing each ship to have their own like uh, ram or something anyway uh, I mean I'm not gonna park it the whole way but you get the idea and the second way and this is the best way if you have many rovers is by having a dedicated rover crane uh, small ship so you leave the rover with the ship and you can put the rover on any ship that you want and this will cost a lot less than having like uh, ramps on your rover that are unstable and you can also use the ship for other things so you just put it on the ship like that and you just release but of course you need to remember to break the rover or something like that uh, will happen and the third way of doing it is by using temporary ramps like this uh, it will cost you 10 to 15 PCU depending on the size of the ramp but you will only need one steel plate per block so it won't cost you that much especially if you don't load or offload your rovers that often so you just drive up the ramp and I mean ideally you should have landing gear of course but you know so something like this to make sure the rovers don't move around while you're on the ship and finally the fourth way of doing that is by making a ship that is specifically designed to have a static ramp when it lands and obviously the ship wasn't designed for it but it's for demonstration purpose only so we just get on the ship like this and park the rover that way and something like this will be much more stable compared to something with rotors and pistons but of course you have to integrate the design better to your ship so yeah so those are four efficient ways to put rovers on your ship without using pistons or rotors.